Alright, I'm gonna cut. Mm, not my leg. Mm, nah. I've been trying to make my wallet fold all day. Cashing in my dreams, big payout. Underneath my money tree, big say. Hey, Freedom Flyers, welcome back to another video on the channel. If you're new here, my name is Brandon. I am a New York City based flight attendant for a European carrier and I am an international flight attendant. I only fly international trips with my minimum trip being three days. I would say my longest trip being like six days or more. With that, I would like to share an updated version of what's in my bag. I'm gonna go through three bags today. My carry-on luggage, my in-flight tote bag, and then my food tote. I am a commuter, meaning I live in Miami, Florida. However, I am based out of New York. So I do travel with a little bit more of my life because I stay in a crash pad in New York. And so when I'm in between trips and home, a lot of my other co-workers come to work with just their one suitcase or their one suitcase and a small little tote and they're like do you have in all those bags and I'm like my stuff I need my stuff which is also funny because whenever somebody needs something who are they coming to nanny me feet the person with everything in that bag. Let's hop into it. I'm gonna go uh, largest to smallest. So I'm gonna start with my carry-on, which this is a temporary bag. For those of you who follow me, you know I was going through my bag struggles with my Travel Pro. I broke some wheels. The wheels are on back order for months before they can be repaired. But it's about the same size. It's a 21 inch carry-on. It's a spinner, so it has four wheels. Very first compartment right here, the zipper compartment, deep pouch. And this is where I keep my cable organizer. You all have seen this many times on the channel. This is where I have all of my cables organized to the various devices that I travel with. That is usually in that pocket by itself. Editing branding here. I forgot to include that this metal crew tag also is in that front pocket so that when it, my bags go through security, the agents are quickly able to see on their monitors that this is a crew bag. If I move up one apartment, there's also another front zipper section that is really deep. It goes the entire length of the bag. And in this, I really just have a bunch of bags. So this is a high-vis vest that we have to wear when we're at certain air airports and we board from the tarmac via stairs and not via like a jet bridge. We have to have that on as crew. This is my reusable tote bag that you all have seen a lot. And then I have this other little small crossbody bag that I use. So these are my layover bags when I'm out through la line and this is for work. Then on the inside of this bag, I'm going to open up the main compartment. It's just one compartment. Typical branded fashion, all of like everything. Alright, so first thing I have is uh, my shoe bag. Two to three pair of shoes in it. Well, I take that back. It's usually one to two pair of shoes and then a pair of like sandals or something. Summer destination, I'm at the pool or like to walk around the hotel room in. Because we don't walk around barefoot. Then I have a smaller tote bag and this is the one I usually put like undergarments, t-shirts in, my lounge clothes for the hotel, socks, all of that goes in here. Because I only work internationally, it's always one flight out and one flight back. So I only work two flights maximum and on a three day trip. So that makes like packing really easy. It's just, what do you plan to wear on the layover? And then I always have one medium sized packing cube. And I can tell you in here, it's always two pair of pants, something dressy, something casual, usually uh, two shirts, again, something dressy, something casual, like a t-shirt or something, and then an extra uniform shirt. That's my toiletry bag. I absolutely love this toiletry bag. It's from the brand Bag Smart. I will actually link everything that I can link down in the description box. But I love this toiletry bag because it literally can hold everything that I need it to hold. And I've had it for some time now. Three compartments. There is a zipper compartment on this side that is actually lined. I don't know if y'all can see this. But this is lined, which is great. I keep a loofah in here as well as some flushable wipes. But I love that it's lined so like if the loofah is still kind of damp, it doesn't like seep through the rest of the bag. That's one pocket. The zipper on the other side is where I keep all of like the oral hygiene stuff. So toothbrush, toothpaste, uh, there's mouthwash in there. What else is in there? Cotton swabs, cotton rounds, 
uh, floss, all of that is on one side, and then the big middle section is pretty much everything else. <laughs> so because I'm crew, I'm able to bring full-size liquids through when I'm in uniform, and so I have body wash, lotion, um, this is hair cream, then I have facial wash and moisturizer, toner, electric razor, deodorant, hard bristle brush, sponge, cologne, and then this section has, let me see if I can show it, a bunch of little pockets on the inside as well. And in these, I have things like uh, pimple pouches, makeup remover wipes, uh, I keep, oh, a bonnet, <laughs> just really random stuff. Oh my God, now I gotta take this thing back up. This is another cosmetic bag. This has got random shit in it. In the bottom of my bag, I always keep a travel umbrella and a jacket. But because we're now in, what is this, November, I don't keep the jacket in here in the winter because I usually have my coat with me. The light jacket with the hood is usually what I keep with me in the summertime because you never know when you want to get caught in a rain shower or just a random chilly day. Moving on from the a larger carry-on to my in-flight tote bag. This is the one that I despise because my all-time favorite bag, the zipper broke. And I have not gotten a zipper. A, a lot of this is me. It's very like, I'm the problem. But I have not gotten a zipper repair. And because I'm getting new luggage, I think I'm gonna just be done with that bag. But this is the uh, Travel Pro. They're very large tote bag. Those of you who are flight attendants, you are familiar with this bag because you either love it or you hate it. You fall on one side of it, and I fall on the side of hating it because it's actually very cumbersome. But it actually has a really great function, and it works really well. Starting with the very front zipper section, a bunch of little organizational pockets and bands to keep things. Um, I just keep some pins in here. In this little pocket right here, I keep all of my gift cards. Shout out to you all who send me gift cards because they sit right in this pocket so I can whip them out whenever I need. And then there is a zipper in this front section and there I keep my passport, international flight attendant. I mean, for everybody, it's like a required duty item. Other things in here like my flight credentials, my medical, my vaccine <laughs> and booster card, as well as a document that we have to have going in and out of Berlin. All of that is in here as well as some other credentials that I might need on the road, my wallet, and my actual car keys. And then a bunch of loose change of the denomination is probably all over the place. Then the next section is where I keep my laptop which is currently across there on the bed. <laughs> But my laptop slides in here, my planner, which is over there on the deck. I did not do a good job preparing for this video. My laptop, my planner, and then this kind of catch-all folder. Yeah, that's all that lives in that section. There is a cup holder on the side that has a zipper function to expand it or I guess not. And then on the opposite side of the bag, there is a zipper pocket. And in here, I keep other electronics. I'm such a techie. But this is the stuff that I use uh, most often because the other stuff is like in the front of that bag. So this is where I keep my portable charging bank cable to charge with, uh, additional batteries for the vlogging camera, other memory cards, and another battery for the camera. And then this is also where I keep my actual cell phone charger. This one, it's plugged in the wall with my travel converter. This is usually in here, but they're being used. I want a layover. Give me some grace. There is a back <laughs> smaller zipper section too, and the only thing that I keep in here is actually the shoulder straps. Use this bag on the J-hook, so on the front of the luggage. If I need to carry it on my shoulder, it does have the hooks to strap the shoulder straps. And for the main attraction, <laughs> this inside pocket, um, it's one big deep open section and there are two pockets in the front and then there's a plastic 
zipper section in the back which I don't keep anything in. But let's see what's in here. Blanket because I'm a commuter and I sleep on my commuter flights. My Hot Logic Mini because I travel with my own food and I like to not have to always go downstairs to the microwave but I can heat up food in the room. Cleaning wipes. My galley box. I work galley very often and so I'll show you all. It's a disaster. <laughs> These are labels because I label what's in each oven and what's in the cart so people don't have to keep coming to my galley saying, where is this? Where is that? Um, seal cutters to cut the hard seals that are on our carts. Regular scissors, tape, glove, rubber bands, hand sanitizer, pens, sharpies, highlighters for mail lists and things. All kinds of things that make my life in the galley a lot easier. Galley box. Then I have this little bag. Loki, this is CVS. That's what this is. This is the CVS pouch. Shout out to the Eagle Airline. And here is just a bunch of little go-to things when I'm in flight spray because, huh, I don't know what some of y'all do in those laboratories, but it is ungodly. Um, lotion, lip moisturizer. Sorry, I keep, the camera used to be up here. It's facing down right now. This, which I need to refill, is Febreze Fabric Fresh and Downy Recoil Relief that I use to spray like my uniforms when I come in on the layover. More Lysol spray because, uh -uh. no, 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 no. This is a Tide to Go pen for stains. Uh, Earplugs when I'm in crew rest and I really need to rest. Guess X, because I'm one of the people that bloat in flight, so never know when I need that. Then I have a travel toothbrush and toothpaste so that I can make sure that I stay fresh after eating in the sky. Can ring. So when I work premium and I am popping cans, um, I wear it on this finger though. This can ring. And so when you're in the aisle and you're on the cart and you're like popping cans, you don't have to mess up your nails because you can you literally just hook it into the, that little, what's that thing called on a can? Whatever the little thing is that you flip up, you just hook the can ring in there and, and one smooth motion and can is open. And when you have to do that for a lot of cans, especially for some of you people who are, will be working at airlines, that you do have to open cans, great investment. All of that is in this little tote. So I got bags and bags in bags. Well, the other thing that I keep in here is medication like migraine medication and this and that. I've gone through it all because I gave it to somebody at the crash pad because she was experiencing migraines the other day. So I like gave her like four packs and so I need to fill back up the pharmacy. And then I have a dust bag in here and in this dust bag I have my in-flight cardigan, my apron, my galley gloves, my heat resistant gloves. Now at the bottom of this bag, or one of those pouches, I have another bag and this just has a pair of sunglasses for my layovers as well as blue light blocking glasses that I wear on the plane sometimes when I'm in the aisle working with those machines. This is a little pouch. Shout out to Ana Luisa. You all know I feature them a lot on the channel. And this is just full of jewelry that I wear on my layovers. But these pouches that they send the jewelry in, they're like canvas and they are so reusable. I have so many of them and I love these. As well as just like a little manicure kit. Nobody loves a hangnail. And then the other side, oh it's empty, but usually what I have in here is uh, like uh, playing cards or like Uno cards or something like that because sometimes you are just absolutely bored on the plane and you need something to do or your layover. And that is that bag. All right, moving on to the last bag of the day. The smallest of the three, and that is my food tote. This is the e-bags, the large cooler. Very popular within the flight attendant community. This is a great bag for those people who want to pack food. I have this bag, and then I also have a Majecto, a larger tote bag. So this is perfect for, I would say, one to three day trips. After a three day trip, if it's a four, Five, six day trip, I usually upgrade to the larger bag because I want the added space. But this for three days, perfect. Front zipper section, napkins, cutlery, straws, reusable cutlery that is not in here right now, it must be at home somewhere. Then you have a pocket on the side, which I just keep hand sanitizer in and uh, like lotion. 
I don't like to be ashy. I keep lotion everywhere. On the other side pocket is where I just keep the strap. Oh, God. I did not mean to pull the whole thing out. The shoulder strap because this bag also has clips on either side that you can strap uh, the shoulder straps into. I put this on the handle because it does have the trolley strap. The top zipper section I call the pantry. And uh, you'll see why in a second. Is that sugar? Well, it's full of sugar. But <laughs> in this mesh uh, zipper section, which is literally like right in the top of it, this is where I keep teas, uh, instant coffee, sugar. There's Diablo sauce from Taco Bell. There's honey, there's ketchup, there's mayonnaise, there's mustard. There's liquid IV. There's a lot of things uh, in that section. Up here you also find things like sun chips, oatmeal, Swedish fish, <laughs> brownies, <laughs> Reese's, um, gum, uh, more lip balms, candy for the crew when I commute back. So that is up here so I can just grab it and hand it to them when I board my commuting flight. Um, <clears throat> no oatmeal this time, but usually like instant oatmeal, that's all up there. And then, don't get excited. <laughs> but the inside section is insulated and lined for all of the food, which all of my food is in the refrigerator right now because, let me tell you something, I packed up these bags in the middle of this layover just to film this video. I was not bringing all that food out. I usually meal prep with these. These are the Rubbermaid um, bowls. I use the hard plastic ones. These are so durable, it's so great. I tried meal prepping with glass containers. However, I couldn't justify the extra weight just to use glass. Although the glass is great because I can put it right in the oven and I can put it right into the Hot Logic, but I put these in the Hot Logic too, no issues. I just don't put this part directly on the hot plate in the Hot Logic. So I'll usually put like a napkin down or a piece of cardboard or something before I put this in there. But these are great. They can fit this way actually, which makes it really great. But I can actually fit three of these in here stacked up on each side, so six total with uh, like sheet ice packs in between them. But I usually don't take six, I usually only have no more than four. Like I have a couple entrees and I usually have my fruit. And so I can fit the four of them in here with a bunch of ice packs and then have space on the top for other things that I bring along. All right, that's it, that's all. Those are the three bags that I travel in and that is what is in all of them. I probably missed a thing or two because depending on the layover, sometimes I'll throw something extra in or if I know I'm going somewhere and I don't need as much stuff, I pull out the extra. But for the most part, that bag lives, or these bags live like this all the time. When I'm like actually assembling the bags, it's always my carry-on suitcase. I have a J-hook that goes on it. It's called a J-hook because the hook is literally like in the shape of a J. Or would it be that way for you all? I don't know. But this straps onto the top handle of the bag and it leans across the front of it. And I hook my tote bag at the very bottom because you want to distribute the weight. So you need all the weight at the bottom. So when you pull the wheels back, the wheels can bear the weight and not you. And then I sit my lunch cooler directly on the top of it and then I'm ready to go out the door. That's an updated version of what's in my bag. I will put links down below for as much as I can. If you have any questions about bags or if you're other flight attendants and you have bag tips or you have some things that I might should try, drop them down below in the comments. I'm Brandon. I'm a guy who flies and I will see you all the next time. Lord,